I have a 1030 appointment with Mona Rudolph suffers from a long list of chronic illnesses that keeps her visiting the clinic every week. Okay, but her health coverage is free. Thanks to a program enacted under then Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney in 2006. Without that reform? Like my grandmother would say, I would have been up the creek without a paddle because I couldn't afford the insurance. Massachusetts offers the financial model for the national law commonly known as Obamacare. It's the only state that requires all its legal residents to be medically insured, whether paid for by employers, workers, or the government. Those who refuse to carry coverage pay a penalty. As a result, only about 2% of the people here are uninsured, compared to more than 17% nationwide. But another key objective, controlling costs, has proved elusive. From what we can tell, if anything, uh, Romney Care has added to the expansion of costs rather than the other way around. While the federal government picks up much of the bill for the poor and disabled, private insurers have been boosting premiums, now an average $14,000 per family, to employers and their workers who can pay. So you can look straight ahead. Well, Dr. Rachel Narden says it's a struggle okay. for many of her low-income working families who have simply chosen to risk staying uninsured. People that are hardworking, struggling to get by, but don't make enough that they can afford to take up the insurance that's either offered by their employer or, they, or they're self-employed or work for a small employer that doesn't offer insurance. So when you have these very complicated um, mechanisms for providing insurance, people are always going to fall through the cracks. And I think there's a lesson for that in the national reform because we've chosen to do just that. As for Romney, he still defends the state law, yet insists that it shouldn't be forced on the rest of the country. Despite Mitt Romney's pledge to repeal the national law, there's been no serious effort to undo the reforms here in Massachusetts, where they continue to enjoy widespread approval. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Boston.